In the upper left corner of this screen, you will see something called repository. And in the repository, you will see a list of projects. The projects are indicated by this icon that looks like a cabinet. This one is called DStage1, and it's composed of multiple subfolders in a hierarchy. The jobs that we will be creating are listed here. The below the repository, and by the way, this repository is connecting to DStage1, this DStage1 project. This is stored not inside the client, but in the server itself most of these elements. Some of them are actually on this computer, but most of them, the important things like the jobs, are actually stored on the server. Below the repository you'll see something called the palette. The palette is very very important because inside the palette you'll find all the important groups, as it says here, this group contains shortcuts to the general stage tabs, in this case because that's the general, uh, the general group. Now in the general group you have annotation, you have these containers, you have description annotation. These things here where it says extract, transform, and load, these are actually descriptions. Here are the links, you can see them there. And then if you go down, you'll see to, uh, to the next group that where you see data quality. This is quality stage. This is the quality stage component inside the designer. And you'll see MDM connector, a match frequency. Uh, by the way, data quality is just ensuring that the data conforms to some predetermined set of parameters. If you want your addresses to always have three parts or your phone numbers to always have parentheses around the area code, that is data quality. And you'll see the MDM connector, match frequency. If you hover your mouse over each of these, you'll get far more information than I can cover in this video, but you get the idea. MNS, investigate, one source match, survive, standardize the data, SQA, and two-stage match. That is the data quality group. If you then go down to the database group, you'll see this DB2 database connector that we created, which is, again, all of these are stages. Everything inside these groups, inside the palette, these are all stages. There's our DB2 connector that we used before. But you have many other connectors too, of course, and for example, Oracle and ODBC. Uh, those are popular connectors, uh, stages in the database group. You also have development and debug, so if you just want to see the output of a given stage, if you wanted to see what was happening on the transformer, you can drag that onto the canvas. In fact, you can drag any stage like that onto the canvas, and then you can connect it with a right click. So if I right click and drag, I'll be dragging out, creating a link, and then when I let go, I will either get an error message because some of these you can't create multiple outputs or I will just see a link created on the screen. That By doing something like this you would be able to look at, peek at the data coming out of the transformer stage. And in this stage you have road generator so if you want to create or generate data, uh, mock data, you can do that in the road generator. You can also create samples so random, if you can take samples of your data out you don't have to look at every single piece of data, which is important if you have millions of records coming out of this, you can just sample it. You can do tail, uh, which often goes along with head, so you can, as it says, copy specified number of trailing input rows to the output, and do other development text, write uh, range map, for example. If you go down to the file group, this will be using a lot, the CSV is actually uh, an icon, a stage, that comes from the file group. You can see it, it's called a sequential file. And it's called sequential because when you load multiple files onto the canvas, you do them in sequential, um, in a sequential way, one after the other, and that's why it's a sequential file. And you'll see Amazon S3, which is uh, quite interesting. You can do complex flat files, so if a single flat file contains uh, rows that themselves have sub rows all in a single flat file, that's useful. You have uh, data sets, so if you want to just save some data into uh, a file, this is called the DS, it ends with extension .ds, you can do that. Those are also very useful data sets. Uh, you can bring in external sources, so that actually means create a pro uh, call a program um, as you're importing your data in. Um, just before you import the data, you can run a, a program. And you can do the opposite of that, which is call a program that acts as a data target. 
you can do these file connectors, create file sets, look up file sets. Uh, you can, uh, we'll talk more about lookups in a while. Those are the sequential files that we saw with our CSV. You can also connect to unstructured data and also connect to ZOS. Then separately you have these packs. We won't be using these, but here they are. So if you need to do something a bit more complicated in your project, you have that. Processing, this is where you'll spend most of your time. We'll talk about what each of these does later. But the transformer stage that we saw is actually one of the processing stages. You don't have to transform, literally transform your data by using a transformer stage. You can use lookups, you can use merging, modifying, pivoting, uh, remove databases, uh, duplicates, sorry, slowly transforming dimensions, sorting, uh, circuit key generator, you can do switching, you can tr do transformer, of course, wave generator, and, uh, and others. Now, for real time, we won't be using this in our scenario, but if you wanted to create essentially a web service by using data stage, you can do that in the real time group. So that's actually quite interesting, but we won't be, we won't be using it um, in our series of videos here. You can also restructure your data. So if you need to, as it says, combine columns into a single binary or string column, you can do that. <coughs> you can also do the same for column importing. You can combine records together, but provided they have identical keys. You can make sub records, you can make vectors, you can promote sub records. Uh, split sub records out, create splitting vectors, and if you use multiple stages pretty frequently, all of those will be stored inside the favorites group at the bottom of the palette. 